So I've been on social media a lot and I've noticed the more pictures I've posted, the more I started to take care of what I post. Almost every social platform today has the ability to post pictures and it's really tempting to make them look more than what they're supposed to be. And I'm guilty of this. I've started to really edit my pictures, adding all sorts of filters and effects to what I've captured. You see, when I was young, my mum always took photos of me, but I couldn't care less that she did. But looking back to those years, I can see why she did. Every physical photograph was a memory, whether it was when I happily held a water medal or the day I wore a dress. And yet, that's me. That's me in a dress. Or just a photo with my sister. Each photograph was shot in the moment and were all developed into a piece of glossy paper, unedited, untouched and not composed. It was raw. It had a story beneath it. But since the introduction of digital cameras, we got rid of film. Although my social platforms are pretty decent, it lacks a narrative. It has no authenticity. It's more like one of those wallpapers you get on your computer screens. So it was time. It was time to get a film camera. But I didn't want to get my hands on an expensive one. So I resorted to this, an $8 camera. It's one of those disposal cameras you throw out after you've used it. And it has a limit count of films you could take. I think the main idea behind this is that I'll be shooting with it, developing the film, and posting it online straight out, with no editing or composing. I guess what I'm trying to say is that the story can't be set up. It's at the truest in the moment. Taking a bunch of photos and editing it doesn't resemble that. Shooting spontaneously is the fundamental part of any memory. And it's this that is at most value.